Did you know that the Cocker Spaniel, a hunting dog breed that's been around since the 14th century, is actually the smallest member of the American Kennel Club sporting group? They used to be all about hunting and sport. But nowadays, they're more likely to be found as beloved family pets. But they're not for everyone. To truly thrive and be their best, they need a home that can cater to their needs. So if you're considering a Cocker Spaniel, stick around because we're going to discuss eight reasons why this breed might not be the right fit for you. Cocker Spaniels are pretty impressive when it comes to flushing games. In fact, in fact, their name Cocker is a nod to their skill in flushing out woodcock. Even though they're not often used for hunting these days, they're still hunters at heart. This means they're happiest when they're kept active and their minds are stimulated. As for their families, these dogs are nothing but loyal, sweet, and always eager to please. We'll dive deeper into the wonderful world of these dogs later on. Number one, if you're not a fan of having a furry friend who's always by your side, then a Cocker Spaniel might not be for you. These dogs are not just smart, but they're also emotionally in tune. This means they'll stick to you like glue, especially when they sense you're feeling anxious. They're like your personal emotional support system, but even when you're feeling fine, they'll follow you around the house, yes, even to the bathroom. Whether you're chilling with Netflix or working at your desk, they'll be right there with you. So if you're not into having a constant companion, or if you're often out and about, this breed might not be the best fit. Number two, if you're not up for providing proper training, a Cocker Spaniel might not be the right choice. These dogs learn from their owners, so if you lose your temper, they might mirror that behavior. Building trust with a Cocker Spaniel is key to a strong relationship. If they trust and respect you, they'll listen to you, even in tough situations. Luckily, these dogs are eager to please, which makes training easier. They respond well to rewards-based training, so be sure to give them treats, praise, and playtime when they do something good. Remember, never use intimidation or punishment like yelling or hitting, as it can make them shy or aggressive, which isn't good for any breed. Number three, Cocker Spaniels might not be the best choice if you have rowdy kids at home. These dogs take cues from their humans, so they might pick up inappropriate behaviors, especially if they're around children who don't know how to play safely with dogs. In other words, if a child plays rough with them, they might think it's okay to behave the same way with others. Don't get me wrong, Cocker Spaniels can be great playmates for kids, but the kids also need to know how to interact with them properly to avoid any mishaps. So if you have young kids who love rough play, this breed might not be the best choice. Number four, if you can't commit to giving a Cocker Spaniel enough exercise, then this breed might not be for you. Like all dogs, Cocker Spaniels need daily exercise to stay healthy and fit. They need at least 40 minutes of exercise every day, split into two sessions, one in the morning and one in the evening. Besides walks, they also enjoy training and play sessions. If you have a yard, it's a great place for them to burn off energy. They're social and cheerful dogs who love meeting new people, so taking them to dog parks won't be a problem. We're halfway through the list. So far, do you think you're up for raising a Cocker Spaniel? We'd love to hear your thoughts later. But for now, let's continue with more about these amazing dogs. Number five, Cocker Spaniels need a lot of grooming. If you decide to get a Cocker Spaniel, be prepared. They shed a lot and need regular grooming. Their long, silky hair needs daily brushing to prevent mats and tangles and to distribute their skin's natural oils, which keeps their coat shiny and healthy. Also, remember that they can bring dirt and debris into the house after playing outside. Because they require a lot of grooming, some owners choose to have their dog professionally groomed, but this will add to your expenses. Other grooming needs include regular nail trims, frequent teeth brushing, and checking their eyes, ears, and skin for any signs of infection or inflammation. Number six, if you can't resist their love for human food, a Cocker Spaniel might not be the best choice. Cocker Spaniels love human food and will seize every opportunity to share your meal. If you can't resist their adorable puppy eyes, it can reinforce their habit of snacking every time you eat. This can become a big problem in the future as they can become stubborn and stop listening to you. Remember, dogs shouldn't eat human food. And if you give them a bite of yours every time, it could lead to obesity, which is bad for their health. Number seven, on the list, if you have larger dogs at home, you might want to reconsider getting a Cocker Spaniel. Having a Cocker Spaniel in a home with larger dogs can be a bit of a gamble. Some big dogs might see them as a friend to protect, while others might try to assert dominance and show aggressive behavior. So before you decide to bring a Cocker Spaniel into your home, it might be a good idea to do a test run to see if they can get along with everyone in the household. Number eight, if you're not able to provide regular vet checkups, a Cocker Spaniel might not be the best choice. Even though Cocker Spaniels are generally healthy, 
they can still suffer from certain health conditions that you need to watch out for. These can include allergies, skin issues, and problems with their eyes and ears. Some Cocker Spaniels can even suffer from Cushing's disease and heart problems. So, to make sure your dog lives a long, healthy, and happy life, they should visit the vet for a regular checkup once or twice a year. With proper care, these dogs can live for 12 to 15 years on average. In conclusion, these points we've discussed should give you a glimpse of what life could be like with a Cocker Spaniel in your home and help you decide if this breed is the right fit for you. If you're an active person who enjoys having a four-legged friend by your side all the time, then this breed could be a great choice. As long as you meet their needs, these dogs can bring more benefits than drawbacks. And that's it for today's video. After watching the whole thing, what do you think about the Cocker Spaniel? Do you think you could successfully raise one?